Okay, so as you can see here, I'm getting this error Apache shut down unexpectedly. So why is this error uh, being shown? The first thing is, as you can see here, it can be due to a block port or missing dependencies, or it can be because of improper privileges, right? So uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to fix both of these things. And let's get started. Also, one quick tip is you can click on the logs here and check Apache error.log so you can see the logs in detail. If you scroll down, you'll see all the uh, error logs here. So right now, let's try to fix this first one due to block port, right? So first go to config and click on httpdigital.conf. Now here we can define on which port to run Apache. Right now, uh, I just, by default it is 80. Apache always return li listens in port 80 by default, all right? No matter what your platform is, no matter it's Linux or uh, uh, whatever your platform is, it listens on port 80 by default, right? So if you are getting this error and you're already on port 80, try changing it to 8081 or try changing it to 8888, something like this. So let's uh, do 8081 for now. Once you've set the port to 8081, you can just save it. And after you've saved it, just click start. And as you can see, I'm running on port 8081 right now, not me. <laughs> Apache is running on 8081. It's listing on 8081 and 443. 8081 for normal plane traffic and 443 for HTTPS. All right, now if we can go to our browser and let's check the 8081 port, if it's listening or not. As you can see, this is working quite well. All right, now the second problem. The second problem is we can have this issue as you can see here, improper privileges. If you have improper privileges, what you need to do is you need to give the user proper permissions so that it can access the folder. So for that, you can go to click here on Explorer and it will open the default ZAMP, ZAMP directory. And inside ZAMP, uh, by default, you need to place all your websites inside the HDDocs folder. So what you can do is right click here, click on show more options and go to properties and go to security. Now by default, you can see which groups have which privileges. So if I click on authenticated users, you can see authenticated users have modify privilege, read and execute, list folder content. If I go to users, I can see I don't have the privilege to modify and I don't have the privilege to write. So if your website needs write permissions, like to upload folder and stuff, you'll also have to give your user this permission. <clears throat> to do that, just click on edit. And for now, just to check if this is a privilege problem or not, you can just click on each group or each user and just give them full control. So if I can go here and give full control. All right, now you can just click on apply, click okay. And then if this is a permissions issue, it should also be fixed now.